This tutorial will show how to create a 2D sketch using SOLIDWORKS. First off, we need to start a new part file. On the left, we can see our model tree where currently we have our original planes, the front, top, and left planes, and also our origin. At the top is the heads-up display that shows most of our viewing options. Select the sketching tab and start a new sketch. It gives us the option of which plane to select and we'll use the front plane for this video. On the left it shows the new sketch in the model tree. The toolbar ribbon shows the available options. We're going to start with the line tool. The dialog box on the left shows the available options for our lines. We're just going to use the default as sketched. Now we need to select a starting point we're going to use the origin. Click once to start a line and wherever we click next will create a line between those two points. SOLIDWORKS will automatically start a new line unless we hit escape or close a 2D profile. Now we're going to sketch out the rest of the initial shape. Notice how SOLIDWORKS helps the designer line up the points. Once we return to the origin, the profile is closed and SOLIDWORKS does not start a new line, but is still in the line tool. To exit the line tool, hit escape on the keyboard. Now let's add a circle to our shape. Choose the circle from the tool ribbon. The first click will set the center of the circle. Let's select the midpoint of this line for the center, and the end of the line for the edge of the circle. Now we have a circle that connects the top and bottom lines. Use the same center point to start the next circle. This circle does not have to be constrained to any particular size, so just use an approximate radius. To exit the circle tool, hit escape. Now let's remove some of the features we no longer need. This line was used to place the circle, but now we can delete it. Select the line and hit the delete key. We also don't want the back of this circle, but if we try and do the same thing, the entire circle will be deleted. Control Z will undo our previous action. Instead, we're going to use the trim tool. The dialog box on the left shows the available options. We're going to use trim to closest. Now we just select the back half of the circle and that portion is removed. To exit trim, hit escape. Now that we have our shape, let's talk about viewing options. Let's use the zoom to fit option to center our drawing. Using the middle mouse scroll wheel allows us to dynamically zoom in or zoom out wherever our mouse pointer is. If we get a little off track, we can always use the zoom to fit button to center our drawing. Now let's use the fillet option to round off the inside corners. Once we select the tool, we need to select the two lines we want. Once chosen, there's a preview shown in yellow, and on the left, the dialog box allows you to change the radius. The preview dynamically changes as long as the fillet is valid. Now let's add our next fillet. This will have the same radius as the first. Once finished, select the green check mark to apply the changes. To exit the fillet tool, hit escape. If we zoom in, we can see that there is still a small line that connects the two fillets. Finally, let's add our name to this drawing. Choose the text option from the tool ribbon. Type the message that you would like to add, and then click on the screen where you would like to apply that message. Sometimes the location does not automatically update until the green check mark is used to finish the text. Once finished though, we could move this text by selecting the location point and moving it to a desired location. In order to finish, we need to exit the sketch by either using the top right icons that either update the sketch or cancel the changes made, or by selecting the top left exit sketch button from the tool ribbon. That concludes our 2D sketching tutorial.